um, flagging is never really an issue. I think that was the best best game I've played of the match so far. Okay, let's go for for something a bit solid here. He had a fork, really? We've played 10 games, so there are potentially 14 games left if the match, go if the match goes the distance. No, I don't think I missed the mate in one because his knight was protect uh, protecting c8. I guess I don't, yeah, I don't think I did. Should anyway not read chat. Losing I IQ P IQ points by the minute. I know you were promised losses and you haven't gotten gotten them. I'm sorry about that. I think it's something about our our styles that he's a good defender but not an especially good attacker and then. I just end up being somewhat better in a lot of games and naturally end, ends up being a bunch of draws. And also in this in this game, the position is very, very dry. We could well see see another one of those those draws. But I'm hoping eventually after we've traded that my pawn structure on, on the queen side is going to be a little bit better. Okay, let's bring the knight around. Possibly to d6 and f5, attacking this one. Also, now that the, um, his pawn is on g3, it's hard to play f3, so it's a little bit harder to kick the knight away. Yeah, let's just reroute the knight. I'm not so worried about the c file here, since I got a good square for the knight in f5. and My position is very, very safe. Uh, I don't think he should have taken on, on d5, to be honest. I think that was good for me structurally. g4, yeah. I spoke about knight f5, so he decided to prevent it. It's very, very, very sensible. Queen f6, rook d1. Rook b8. But he does have rook c6 there. Maybe I'll go the other way. Try and pull some of the c file after all. I also have the threat of queen b4 potentially attacking d4 and a4. Yeah, rook c6 makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I guess I changed my mind. I'm gonna move the knight back so that it's not it's not hanging. But I think over the last two moves, uh, sorry, the last few moves, his moves have been a little bit more to the point than mine. Maybe there was also a queen b5 there. Okay, let's let's exchange a few pieces. After all, my pawn structure may be a little bit better in the ending, so it's not like exchanges are necessarily bad for me. Rook d6, there's rook c1 and queen d6. Good thing this is not the arrow championship. Yeah, you're quite right. Oh, he probably made a move a long time ago. I just didn't notice. Okay. Rook c5. Yeah, let's force that exchange. Force it like forcing, huh? Um, queen b5, queen b5, rook c1, take an f2, we can take an a5, it looks good for me. Hmm, it goes for it. It's an interesting choice. Certainly complicated, complicating the game. I've also got rook b7. Queen a5, take on c5, I win the exchange, and I have d4 later on. Mm, it's unclear, but it looks good for me. Let's -a go. Must be, must be better for me. Queen e5, b4, d3, attending queen e2. And if takes, I take an i2. Hopefully invading. 
give a couple of checks, but I don't think it matters. So yeah, now I check and I take on b4, and I just win. Queen d4, threatening rook a1. Good stuff.